Hi, I'm Norm Fox. I'm Project Director for the Great Northern Highway Mirshay to Woburn Project. The Mirshay North contract was awarded to WBHO and they in turn approached us with a proposal to replace some of the works with a incentivised Aboriginal subcontract. The Great Northern Highway project extends from Mushay to Woburn. It's a federally and state joint funded project. 218 kilometres of road that was assessed for its upgrade needs. The main roads appointed a joint venture of Arup and Jacobs to undertake the planning, the packaging of works for delivery by a number of smaller contracts. I'd like to introduce Darren as the person to talk you through the success of the project and how it's operating. The Great Northern Highway Mushay North project, 12 kilometres of main road construction. So the Data Ugali joint venture, it was, it was formed in the midway through 2018. Uh, WBHO approached uh, Dataru and Gali separately about Dataru and Gali doing something together on the Muche North project. Um, so we've been well supported by Main Roads and WBHO on this project. It's about seven kilometres of roads, landscaping, fencing, bulk earthworks, um, and some other miscellaneous services. We're fortunate on this project to have two trainees uh, Terrell Davis and Neville Kickett. Uh, they've joined us recently and we hope to see them through to completion. Being on the fencing crew before I started doing main roads. Um, being on the main roads job for about six months or five months. Learning how to drive rollers, uh, loaders, water carts. I like it out here, it's pretty good. My name's Terrell Davis. Um, from Perth. Um, Dad's from Northern and my mum's from Busselton to Northampton. How I got this job is through an old workmate. Um, I just said I needed a transfer to Perth. Just probably get all the tickets out of it and with all the tickets I'll just fall back onto one of those. As a truck or a water cart or a roller. Yeah. I feel comfortable at first, I was a bit shy, because that's how I am. But it took me, yeah, a couple of weeks to get to normal, which is good, yeah. Make you feel welcome and all that, yeah. Yeah, my name is Neville Mullard. I'm um, born in Geraldton. My Jared Yamaji man on my mum's side, dad's side and under. I started working main roads back in 1975, Geraldton Division, and 2000 and 11 and become an owner operator. I've got three graders, two rollers. Yeah, I've been following trip operator for quite a few years. Yeah, it's not a bad project. Born and bred in Meriden from Balladong country. This is the first time I've ever had working with a group of Aboriginals in the last 10, 40 years maybe. And yeah, good crowd, enjoying it. Young fellas just teaching them, handing on, you know, tricks of the trade sort of thing. Showing them the ropes, that kind of stuff. It's all good. Firstly, my name's Colvin Hardy. I'm originally from Katanning. I'm a Noongar man. Uh, Wairo Carp is my Aboriginal group. Uh, I'm a plan operator, uh, mostly on a loader. You're home every night. That's the main reason I've uh, sort of like abandoned uh, FIFO. Uh, you get to see your grandkids and all that more often. It's pretty cruisy, really. It's 10 hours a day, not 12. Um, expectations are pretty similar, but not as uh, restrict as mining in the expectations. The job requirements are you know, pretty much the same. Uh, yeah, Justin Kiggett from Tamman. Uh, I've got a good supervisor, good blokes here. We're in London Darren and they all good, look after us. My name's Ron Fogarty. I'm a buddy my person from Mount Magnet. Oh, what do I do? I do everything. Whatever they want me to do. Got a good bunch of bikes to work with. So. You've got to have a joke or you end up not having a good day. My name is Regan Tan, um, student engineer with Gali. Used to be part of hospitality, so just to get through student life. But now it's quite a daunting step for me, but I learned that not everything is to do with uh, calculations, but also it's with communication. So. 
sometimes you need to run before you walk. <laughs> Everyone operates their machines well, they're very trustworthy and they're a good all-round bunch of crew. And it's been great on this site, there's uh, been its ups and downs like any project but we've, I think um, we're sort of being getting on top of it and the Indigenous part of it is, yeah, that's what it's all about, getting all the guys together and we all get on well. This incentivised Aboriginal subcontract has proven very successful in the development of individuals and companies on a path of improved Aboriginal engagement in business and contracting in Western Australia.